In this video, I will show you how to draw square bolt. Draw to scale 1 is to 1 the front view and right hand side view of a square headed bolt. When its axis is parallel to HP and VP both, take the diameter of bolt as 24 mm and length is 110 mm. Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see how to draw square bolt. Square bolt D is 24, 0.8 D, 1.5 D plus 3, 2D plus 6 and 2D. We'll find all these values and now we'll start with right hand side view. So first we have to draw a square, right? 1.5 D plus 3. So I will draw a square of 1.5 D plus 3. Then front view will come on this side. Dimensioning 1.5D plus 3. I can take 1.5D also, but I will stick to 1.5D plus 3. Then head is 0.8D. This is right hand side view, front view, right? Now after that, I will find the midpoint of right hand side view. And I will draw axis. I'll mark 2D to draw the curve. See this. So I'll take 2D in my compass and I will draw radius. Then I'll take D is equal to 24. So I'll take the center of right hand side view and I will draw radius 12. This will be full circle and I will draw one more radius that is 0.80. That would be 3 fourth. See we are following first angle so it will be in first quadrant the 3 fourth one. Now we'll take shank length 110 mm. So draw 110, then take D equals to 24 and draw radius like this. Draw vertical line and draw this thread. Now threading length is 2D plus 6. So I will take 0.8D projection. I'll mark 2D plus 6 and I will draw a runoff angle. See shank length 2D plus 6. I can do dimensioning. Now there is one more thing which is remaining that is chamfering circle. Now that will be dotted. Why? Because we are seeing it from right hand side. You can't see chamfering. So this will be dark. This will be slight light. Remember that D will be dark. This is D. So D will be dark. 0.8 D will be slight lighter than D. Now D upon DI that is 0.8. It can be 0.84 also. It can be 0.85 also. So don't get confused. I'm using 0.8. Now let's say if I take left hand side view, front view, left hand side view. Now see in this case, I'm seeing it from the right. So I can see threading. So that's why threading is dark. I can't see chamfering. So that's why it is dotted. But if I see left hand side view, then chamfering will be dark and threading will be dotted. See this. This is external threading, so outer circle will be full, inner one will be three fourth, but it will be dotted because you can't see from the left hand side. From right hand side, you can see. So, this you need to remember. I hope all of you got this difference. Again, right hand side view, we'll see from this side. That's why dotted threading dark. Left hand side view. I'll see from here, that's why chamfering dark and threading dotted. This is very useful for CBSC, diploma students and ITI students. Thank you.